what do you got for me on the Niners quarterback scenario? As we're currently standing here, sitting here, having this conversation, everybody's breaking for training camp, how it's going to play out, the whole business. What do you got for me on that? Well, Brock Purdy, if he's healthy, and if he's not healthy, I think it'll be Sam Darnold. How about that? I think they really like Sam Darnold. When they started putting out the word, and it was Matt Mayoko of NBC Sports Bay Area who, who said that, Sam Darnold may be the most talented throw of the football the 49ers have ever had, and people lost their minds. And it's like, well, he didn't make that up. He's getting that from Kyle Shanahan. And not long after that, Kyle Shanahan said it. And that's to get people comfortable with the idea that the guy that they gave up three first-round picks and a third-round pick to get is going to be the odd man out. But they're not going to trade him because QB3 could end up being QB1. Yes. That's what happened last year. Yes, exactly. they've, they've, been, they've been cursed at the quarterback position. And, Rich, let's play it out to March of next year. I think you're going to see, unless the Vikings re-sign him by then, and they can't use the franchise tag on him the way his contract is structured, you're going to see a potential tug-of-war between Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay for Kirk Cousins next March. How about that? Mark that down. They can't quit him. They can't quit him. I know. I, who said that? Was, that? was that Daniel Jeremiah who said on this show that if you're anybody Whoa. involved with the Shanahans, you have, to pay, you have to pay fealty to Kirk Cousins? You know, like that. I think he's somebody said that. I don't, um, but, I, I, but, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing I have on that front. Okay, and and this is why I I'm with you that it's Purdy's gig if he's healthy, because in this day and age, okay, if you've got a guy who can perform and like at an elite level at the quarterback spot, who is on a seventh round contract, and you've got a team that's ready to win now filled with people that you need to re-sign to monster contracts because they are pro bowlers at their position. That's how you win. And the one person you, you'd mentioned how fans might wake up and say, all oh, these the, the guy that uh, you paid all those first-round draft choices for isn't even playing, it really is an audience of one that they really have to worry about, and that's Jed York. And he loves his coach and his general manager, as you know. So as long as they're making NFC Championship games with Purdy or Jimmy G, doesn't matter if Lance, you know, isn't the guy anymore. And so if it's Purdy, I don't know why they would even want to go in Kirk Cousins and pay him $40 million a year when you got a guy who's playing like Cousins on a seventh-round contract. That's like the dream come true if you're the 49ers. It all comes down to whether or not Brock Purdy can stay healthy wire to wire this year. I think right. that's the ultimate proof. And we've yes. gone year after year after year where there have been these issues with the health of the 49ers quarterback. The one year it wasn't an issue was the year they went to the Super Bowl. And I'm a firm believer that if they had just waited to sign Kirk Cousins, that's why Kyle Shanahan didn't evaluate Patrick Mahomes in 2017, could have had him, didn't even look at him was waiting for Kirk Cousins in 2018, got talked into Jimmy Garoppolo when the season was just falling apart. His first year with the 49ers, we got to do something, and Garoppolo was available for a second-round pick, so they went in that direction. I think if they had waited for Cousins, given the fact that Cousins never gets injured, Cousins never gets injured. Cousins is durable. That's his superpower as it relates to, and, and also playing at 1 o'clock Eastern. But um, I don't have one of two Super Bowl wins by now, and it wouldn't be because of anything Kirk Cousins did. It's because he's good enough with that incredible team that they'd have around him. His other superpower is being paid like a Major League Baseball yeah. Cy Young pitcher. You know, <laughs> He's paid like Garrett Cole. You know, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's another superpower. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.